World Athletics Championships, Christian Coleman wins 100 meters gold in 9.76 seconds. Christian Coleman shrugged off the controversy of his build-up to the World Championships to win the 100 meters final in 9.76 seconds. The pre-event favorite, who avoided a ban for three missed doping tests, finished well clear of defending champion and fellow American Justin Gatlin, who clocked 9.89 in Doha. Canada's André de Grasse took bronze in 9.90. Christian Coleman shrugged off the controversy of his build-up to the World Championships to win the 100 meters final in 9.76 seconds. The pre-event favorite, who avoided a ban for three missed doping tests, finished well clear of defending champion and fellow American Justin Gatlin, who clocked 9.89 in Doha. Canada's André de Grasse took bronze in 9.90. Britain's European champion jean Hughes was sixth in 10.03. News from BBC, by Sarge Chowdhury, BBC Sport in Doha. All photos may not represent the story. Watch to learn English the way you've learned your mother tongue as this video is especially made. Day 2 Roundup, Clips, Photos and Reaction as Coleman wins gold Although Coleman will receive generous plaudits for his display here, USA track great Michael Johnson said prior to the competition that controversy surrounding Coleman completely disqualifies him from being the face of the sport. The US anti-doping agency charged Coleman with missing three drugs tests in 12 months before withdrawing the claim. I am humble, I am just here to win titles, an elated Coleman said afterwards. It is an incredible time. I think the sky is the limit, I think I still have a lot of things I can work on and improve, I think I can keep dropping my time. For the second successive day the crowd was sparse inside the Khalifa Stadium, which can hold 40,000. There has been no update as to whether the organizers have improved on sales of 50,000 tickets for the entire 10 days. On Saturday, the stadium became more vacant as the evening wore on and only a few witnessed the spectacular light display before the men's 100 meters final. Much of the focus leading up to the championships was about whether Coleman or his USA teammate Noah Lyles, competing in the 200 meters, would take the title of Sprint King, following Usain Bolt's retirement after London 2017. That projected battle was thrown into serious doubt when it was announced in August that Coleman was under investigation for missing three tests in 12 months. If found guilty, the 23-year-old from Atlanta faced a one-year ban. However, the U.S. anti-doping agency, which initially charged Coleman, withdrew the case after it was proved there had been a filing irregularity regarding the date of the first missed test. Seemingly unaffected by the drama, Coleman cruised through the rounds before once again making his superiority count in the final. Defending champion Gatlin, who is also a controversial figure having twice served doping bans, produced another excellent display in a final. Having won the Olympic title back in 2004 and now aged 37, he still remains a force in men's sprinting and must be regarded as an Olympic medal contender for Tokyo 2020. Hughes might feel disappointed with his display. The Anguilla-born sprinter, fifth at the 2015 championships, looked comfortable in his heat and semi-final but failed to recreate that level of performance when it mattered most. My body wasn't feeling up for it tonight unfortunately, said Hughes, who will go on to compete in the 200 meters. When I pushed out I was all over the place and I lost my form and I'm not happy with that, but I live to fight another day. Great Britain's Adam Gemelli and Ajia Doberan failed to progress beyond the semi-finals. Gemelli, who will also run the 200 meters, was just edged out into third in his semi while Adoberan came fifth. Earlier in the day Dina Asher Smith, one of Britain's main medal hopes, eased into Sunday's 100 meters semi-finals but it was the performance of Jamaica's Shelly Ann Fraser Price that drew gasps from the crowd inside the Khalifa Stadium. The 32-year-old, 10 years after completing her first Olympic and world double, looked relaxed as she powered past her rivals to cross the line in a time of 10.80 seconds, the fastest ever at this stage of the event at a world championships. As for Asha Smith, she also dipped under 11 seconds, for the seventh time this year, and won her heat comfortably. The only other sprinter that managed a sub-11 seconds run was Ivory Coast's Marie-José Tarlou, who won her race in 10.85.
Britain's Daryl Nater and Imani Lansaquat also progressed, as did Rio 2016 gold medalist Elaine Thompson and the USA's defending champion Tory Bowie. We will see what happens Giles The British trio of Elliot Giles, Kyle Langford and Jamie Webb all qualified for Sunday's 800m semi-finals. Giles, 25 the 2016 European bronze medalist, led almost from start to finish to clock the fourth fastest time of the heats, 1 minute 45.53 seconds. He told BBC Sport, it was more mindset. Kiss, keep it simple. I knew what I needed to do. I don't need to overcomplicate it, just run. Richard Kilty said, over analysis leads to performance paralysis. That has stuck with me. All we have to do is run and we will see what happens. European indoor silver medalist Jamie Webb finished third in his race while Kyle Langford, a surprise fourth two years ago, went through as a fastest loser. Britain's Shelena Oskin Clark and Alexandra Bell both failed to qualify for Monday's 800m final. Oskin Clark, the world indoor bronze medalist, was in a good position in the final 60m but tripped as she approached the line. Brilliant Hassan takes 10,000 meters title There were three other medals won inside the stadium. Jamaica's Tajay Gale surprised his more illustrious rivals by winning the long jump with 8.69 meters. Olympic champion Jeff Henderson clinched silver with 8.39 meters and Cuba's world indoor champion Juan Miguel Echevarria took bronze with 8.34 meters. Remarkable Dutch athlete Safan Hassan who has previously won world medals in the 1,500 meters and 5,000 meters added 10,000 meters gold with a world lead time of 30 minutes 17.62 seconds. And the USA's Deanna Price won the hammer title with a distance of 77.54 meters. Elsewhere, Norway's world champion Karsten Warholm and his main rival Rai Benjamin, of the USA, both eased into Monday's 400m hurdles final. Both the men's and women's 50km walk races take place later, a day after the competitors in the women's marathon struggled with the heat and humidity at Doha's Corniche. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.